Okay, what we're doing today is we're going to go ahead and paint the black trim around the roof on the 1986 Chevrolet Corvette. Um, this, this right here, all that around there. And uh, you noticed we got the masking done, and that's to prevent the overspray going on the parts we don't want it to go on to. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We've already cleaned all the black part, made sure there's no dirt on it, and now we're going to tack it with a tack cloth to make sure there's no little dust. So it should come out as shiny as we hope it will. So that's what we're doing right now. We're getting ready to paint the trim around the roof panel. Okay, we have paint on it. Now what we have to do is tear off the masking tape, the masking paper that's on the roof, and then we have to prime it, and then we'll sand it, and then we'll paint it with the yellow. Okay, what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and mask off the black that we've already painted. So, um, seems like the black came out okay. Looks pretty good. So now we're going to mask off that black trim all the way around and we'll get ready to prime it. Okay, we have it on the wall now. We're going to put some primer on it here shortly. The way I have it on the wall is I put two bolts where the roof attaches to the windshield and then I have two bungee cords holding it up like that. So it's sitting crooked but I'm going to try to make sure I paint it straight. <laughs> so uh, that's where we're at now. Once I get some primer on it then I'll go ahead and show you and then we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, we have primer on it. We have to hit that with Scotch Bright, smooth it all down, and then we'll go ahead and put the color on it. Okay, we've already put the spot putty on, which is also called glaze spot, glazing spot putty. Bondo, this stuff right here. Bondo glazing spot putty. We put that on with this rewards card. Actually, it's like a credit card. And what you do is you put some on here, like you put a little spot on here where you see a, a spot like this here. And then you smear it flat. And that's what I've done all over this whole thing because I found a lot of spots that look like they were kind of low. Especially along here where it seemed to be coming up and busting through the paint so the paint didn't stick right. So that's what we've done. It's already dry. We're getting ready to start block sanding with this right here. This is 400 grit sandpaper. And we're going to go ahead and knock down all the high spots of this glazing putty that I just put on so we can have a smooth surface to paint. So that's what we're up to right now. One half is done and one half to go. This half's done over here. We still have to do this half over here. So it's coming along.
Okay, we have the roof all sanded, and now what we're getting ready to do is wash it. We gotta wash all the loose sanded dust off of it. So when we get ready to paint it, it'll have a nice surface for the paint to adhere to. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, we got it kind of rinsed off right now. We've been using a Weed Be Gone jug full of water. It's got a nice little trigger pistol on it. And that's what we've been rinsing this off with. Um, it may be enough. We're going to go ahead and let it air dry. And then we're going to go ahead and um, remove the old masking tape around the trim. And then go ahead and retape it because we scuffed it while we were block sanding this. So we want to make sure that the trim comes out nice and straight like it's supposed to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait five days. Wet sand out the run that I have in it. And then go ahead and put another coat on it. And then, and then it should be ready to install.